Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Always do your best, but don't overdo. You don't want to get burnt, baby. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it will take longer to accomplish your goals. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 113, NASDAQ off 45, SPs off 10 and a half. Gold, gold contract up $19.70, trading at 1988 an ounce. With silver up 36 cents, $23.99 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 20 cents, $71.66 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 12 ticks, trading 113.17. The 30 year off 26 at 127.03 and King Dollar. King Dollar. Where'd you just go, King Dollar? There we, yeah, there we go. King Dollar down 388 ticks, trading 103.196. The euro is at 108. The yen is at trading at a 138. And the British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, I'm going to put up the SPY here because... You know, the, the NDX and the NASDAQ broke out. The SPY, um, it's, it's not a breakout yet, okay? Because when you get a breakout, you basically get away from the bar. And what we have here thus far is that the bar we're talking about is 4.1831. And when I just did the update, you know, we were a little bit higher, and we were at 4.1834. Now, you're not going to have the volume, because the volume on the weekly basis here well, actually, on the daily basis, it's not going to be that bad because we're at 73 million right now. Well, it is. We're going into 103 million. Now, on the weekly basis, we take a look at it. And what you're going to see on the weekly basis is that we're dealing with 458 million and we're at 370. So you can see. We're shot uh, with that. That's 85 million shares, but I suspect we'll do another 20 mil million. But that's a lot of numbers. Now, the real kick is going to be, do you close under the 4.1837? That's the thing to keep your eye on. Because the way that a failure works is that first you have to hit the number, and I'm talking about hitting the number right to the penny, or getting over it to the penny, not underneath it. And then you either have higher volume, lower volume. A failure is that when you get over the number, you have lighter volume and you close under the number. A success is just getting over the number, period. That's how that works, okay? A real success that it would be a bull is that you're getting over the number and you have the volume. That's on your SPY. On the NDX, you get a different deal happening altogether. And what it does happen is that, you know, the NDX leads the market. So you got to pay attention to this, okay? So if we take a look at the NDX, this thing broke topside in a monster way. You know, we take a look at that swing, and what you're dealing with is that the number is 334.43, and that seemed like a big number about three weeks ago, even two weeks ago. Uh, once it, no, it was three weeks ago. That's when we had 304, okay? So in four weeks, you know, we went from 404 to 36. Now, what you have there, but what is also going on is that we have the volume. So you can see that 221, and we are at 234. So that says that the NASDAQ wants to get up into this number, which is the 371. Now, that's quite a move, man. And what does happen with the NASDAQ, though, the NASDAQ can move. We'll see where that shakes out. <laughs> it's a good one, man. Notes and bonds. Let's take a look at notes and bonds, because notes and bonds, they're doing a deep retracement here. You take a look at the note and bond market, and... We're coming into monster volume, meaning the, the bars, you need actually more selling this, okay? But it's very unusual when the 10-year, when we came off the lows, folks, the 10-year did 3.7 million contracts and 4.3. I'm not sure whether I've ever seen a 4.3 on the 10-year. So it is, you know, bottom line, you still do the same exercise. 
because you're coming into that now at 1.8. Now, the bottom of that bar happens to be 112.21. We've hit 113.11. And if, then if we take a look at it, okay, what have we done expansion contraction-wise? Well, we did just over a 50% retracement. So I suspect what's going to happen here is that we're going to probably do a 0.618 retracement. And a 0.618 can bring you almost to the end of that bar. Now, if that's what we're going to do, what you will see is that you'll see a contraction of volume in a monster. Well, if it wants to turn, you're going to see a contraction of volume in a huge way. That's how this shakes out. Gold. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract came off its highs. Put this up. It just grabbed back everything that it lost yesterday. Yeah, but see, not good. Okay. So, gold contract, when you take a look at the gold contract, I suspect the gold contract's going down into here, which is the 1952 area. We hit 1974 today, but see how the low of yesterday was 1973. You see how we didn't go, it would, have, it would have been great if we actually went to the low today, tested and rejected, but we didn't. We went to 1974.90, so now you're going up on light volume. And, you know, we'll see whether this is going to try to do an ABC uh, down, okay? This, is, this could be a problem, you know, because you're right at ice, you already broke the consolidation, you're going up, you're going up with light volume, and if that ends up being an ABC down, that could be quite a big ABC down, so... And where does that bring us? Well, that brings us to the good U.S. dollar. We take a look at the dollar, and what you have inside this dollar here is that, you know, the dollar rejected 102.998 today. You know, it's been a one-way trip on the dollar, meaning right now you're still down 378 ticks, but you already rejected lower price. And this is the first week, you know, that the bottom line is that we got on top of the consolidation, which has been there for about five weeks, okay? You know, the next swing point there is the 103.800. And I suspect, you know, if we just take a look at this and say, okay, that's, it's going to do it 0.382. Well, where I'm getting the 106, folks, is a, a 0.382 from the last high that was generated out there last September to the lows. A 0.382 is a dead cat bounce. But the bottom line is that that's what markets like to do. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.